Hey, what's up guys? Addy from Cali, yo, yo, yo. Addy from Cali, yo, yo, yo. What, who, who? Andy from Cali. Oh. Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about um, just games, you know, things that are awesome. The things that uh, we love and we can't live without, you know what I'm talking about? Games. So lately, um, I've been up to a lot, you know? I've been, I've been spending my gaming love everywhere, you know? There's just too many games out that are awesome and I need to play them all. So, sometimes I don't always finish a game right away because I get stuck playing this game and that game, but the games that we've been playing are... Number one, Bioshock Infinite. Um, Bioshock Infinite, wow. I mean, honestly, the first thing I gotta say is when I played it, I was just stuck on stupid when I was looking at everything and how beautiful and just the le when you get when you guys when you start the game and you see the first place, you're just in awe of the beauty and it's just surreal and how you know the graphics are they're pretty damn good. Um, on PC, of course, they're the best. Consoles kind of hurt a little bit from it, but. You just you just throw into this whole other world. It's got this kind of sky city. It's all it's very heavenly and and at the same time, you know, you're surrounded by propaganda. And it's kind of you know you're. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't played it, but you pretty much get forced to get baptized, if you will, and be cleansed of your sins in the beginning before they even let you enter their you know sacred land of Comstock. So basically. You know, you're playing as Booker T, and, um, not Booker T. <laughs> if you guys know what Booker T is, that's a wrestler. Uh, you're playing as Booker Duet, and, um, you know, you're, you're on this mission, and you're, you're, you're basically on a mission to go save, you know, this female, um, who you don't even know, Elizabeth. And, you know, she's stuck in a tower. And it's kind of like this fairy tale where you gotta go get her. But in between, it's not so fairy tale. Like, you know, it gets pretty crazy. Um, just, you know, what I gotta say is the mechanics of the fighting I thought were pretty fun and very fast paced if, if you make it that way. You know, you have the freedom to pretty much kill enemies however the hell you want. You wanna throw birds at them that freak, bite and freaking punch their eyes and scorch their eyes out? You wanna throw fire at them? You can do that. Maybe you want to turn into an octopus with a big water arm, then go and grab three guys and pull a match and kill them. You can do that. Maybe you can fart in their face, a big stinker. Then no, I'm just kidding. They don't have that. But um, I mean, just the you know, the powers on your left hand, it's, it's, it's kind of like you're 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 a mage, a mage if you will. You know, you're not a mage at all. But since I love being a mage and games that have mages, I like to relate it to that. So. You're kind of like a mage because in your left hand you have magic, you can do telekinesis, the birds, the fire, I mean, you can possess people, you can make them work for you and then they kill themselves in the end. It's awesome. Um, those are just a couple of them, I'm not going to tell you guys all of them because I think you guys should try this game. I mean, it's, it's highly recommended by me. Um, it's a great game, the story is, is, is well paced I thought and um, uh, it pays off. And whew, you guys gotta see the ending on that. I mean, yeah, the ending. Not gonna talk about that, but amazing, amazing game. Um, the the guns off the chain. You know, you get this, you get a sniper. You get different kinds of assault rifles, shotguns. I mean, these huge blasting guns with different radiuses and just different types of stuff. And so when you go from when you're switching from that to the gun that you're shooting with to your your mage powers in your left hand, you can do, you know, the bronco where you just throw them in the air. And the guys are like tossed in the air like they just got bucked by a bronco and they're just helpless in the air while you're just shooting them, pow, pow, pow. You know, you're throwing fire, you're throwing ice out, you're throwing electricity. <sighs> it's crazy, man. You even got this power in there where you're you're basically like, you know, you're Neo on the Matrix. You know, people can be shooting at you and you can just kind of, you can absorb all the bullets that are around you coming at you, absorb them, and then throw them back. Uh, it's, it's pretty sweet. Also, thank you to my friend Michael. Uh, I'm gonna be trying out this bad boy right here, guys. Dishonored. Pretty sure you guys have heard of it. It's 
it's it's different, you know. It kind of when I when I when I see it, it kind of reminds me of like an Assassin's Creed mixed with a little bit of Infamous mixed with like, you know, being able to, you know you're walking around in first person, so you kind of see your hands. So it's kind of like the Bioshock feel. So, um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna give that a go. I've seen my friend play a little bit of it. It looked really awesome, you know. You're you kind of have these parkour -ish skills where you can just get around everywhere, but at the same time, it's set in a whole nother time period with characters, you know, that we've never seen. Totally new type of characters. The game content, it's 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 unique, you know, which which draws me in. And um, I'm gonna be playing that. I'm gonna put some videos on it. Remember that guy's Dishonored. Uh, I'm gonna show some gameplay on that. So if you guys haven't played it, you can check it out with me. It'll be fun. Also, been up to uh, you know I. I I had put some, you know, I put one video about Dust. It wasn't really a video of gameplay. It was just an intro video about how it works and stuff. But what I wanted to tell you guys is Dust Five One Four. It's a let down. I'm sorry, guys. It's free beta. It's free to play. It's free for PS3. So yeah, it's, it's you know it it is connected with Eve Online, which is cool. But all they do, you know, I don't really see. It's not holding my attention. That's for sure. It needs. The controls are just kind of bulky, and I know you're in space too, so I get it, I understand guys. You know, I know you're not going to be running the speed of light if you have a huge suit with a heavy gun, but not for me. You know, I know I know the people in DICE had a hand, uh, you know, a little touch in it. Some people that made Battlefield 3, so maybe that's why it's even playable, because everything else about it, it's just, yeah. I mean, this is a beta though, so don't get me wrong, it might be way better when it comes out, so don't rule it out 100%, guys. Just remember that I told you the beta was not that great. Oh, you, oh, you like that, huh? Why don't you click it? You wanna subscribe? Do it! Do it!